Hello, David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. Well, the movie's long been out. February is right in the midst of this, and the high definition, the DVD, the Blu-ray, it's all been out, and we've collected a lot of the different pieces. Boy, do we know it. My wallet, your wallet, they've all taken a hit. <laughs> but the reality is, is even though our wallets are empty, we still want the Bond lifestyle. Well, happily, there's people like Daniel Love. Now, Daniel Love was introduced in a video a long time ago when I was on a nice cadence of doing what's called the Frugal Bond Experience or the Frugal Bond. And this is a lot of detectives out there looking for the frugal way, the economic way, the efficient way to get that Bond style without paying for a used car. And Daniel Love's been one of those artists, interpreters, if you will, that have done that. And today we're here to talk about this wonderful piece. And this is the what's affectionately known now as the Solden Bond jacket. So this is the jacket that Bond wears in all of the Solden scenes. Everybody thought it was black. We know now that it's this wonderful dark navy uh, with a charcoal wool. And well, this is Daniel's piece. And we're going to do a head-to-head -head comparison, but before we do that, let's take a good look at this. First of all, we obviously have the quilted look, we have the wool, we have the polyester outside. His is a wool blend. It's actually very soft and very warm. I tested it out today. feels great. What you're really going to like, though, is the interior of this. And I was a little sad when I didn't see the tag up in the collar, um, but sure enough, his little symbol, which is obviously Royale, um, is in there, and not only that, he put in a wonderful lining that the Tom Ford jacket doesn't have, and he put in a pocket. Now, when I received my Tom Ford jacket, which happens to be right here, I was very disappointed. There was no interior other than a rubber Tom Ford piece. Um, but let's take a look, as close as we can, of each of these pieces, because his is absolutely remarkable. Now, this on top is the Royale one, and obviously this is the Tom Ford one. Now, there are differences. This is an artist's interpretation. That's one of the nice things that uh, Daniel does is he does an artist's interpretation, but it gives you the look and the feel, the mood, the emotion of the original. First of all, you can see the Tom Ford one has these wonderful leather tubings. Guess what? So does Daniel's. Same tubing, a little bit smaller, but that same shiny zipper. The zippers themselves, by the way, slight difference in the zipper. If I put this on this side, you can actually see that the zipper shape is very similar. Here's Daniel's. Here's Tom Ford's. Very similar in shape, but Daniel's is slightly bigger, so there is some slight difference there. And you can see, although the camera it's hard to pick up, the color is only slightly different, but damn it, Danielle got so close. It's very, very close. And even the width of the different, um, the, the, the different lining, if you will, of the piece is extremely similar. Now, let's take a look, because we told you we were going to give one hell of a comparison to the side zippers. Now, I'm going to zip this up so you can get a nice comparison, but the side zipper itself is longer on Daniels, and you can see that but it does have the little hidden zipper area that the Tom Ford has, this little pocket here that hides some of the zipper. Guess what, folks? Daniels is more accurate. So there was a screen-to-screen -screen shot of the Tom Ford jacket on a model and the one that Craig wears in the movie, and these zippers on the Tom Ford are not screen accurate. They're too short. Daniel made them screen accurate, so they go amongst the correct length of the ripping he made an improvement on it. Let's take a look at the wool. So we did a great job on the front, obviously the interior. Let's take a look at the wool. Now the wool is different. You can see on the Tom Ford piece, the Tom Ford is right here on my thumb. This is Daniel's. The Tom Ford one is kind of uh, pinstriping striated. Daniel's is also similar to that, but it almost looks a little bit more chainmailish. Very tight, very strong, uh, nice wool, very soft. I wore it out today. And here's what's remarkable. When you come to the collar on here, the collar itself is very similar. It's similar in height, which is wonderful, so it kind of mimics the height, but it also 
tends to mimic the stretch and the pull. So it's got that same collar bend that the Tom Ford one does. And even on the back, it's got that nice kind of play along the bottom. But listen, um, we're doing this the wrong way, aren't we? I mean, I'm sitting here showing you a flat thing. Let's try this puppy on. Now, I'm going to tell you something as I try this on. With Daniel Pieces, his Frugal Bond stuff, I usually take a size small, which usually runs about a 48 to a 49 from a European size standpoint. I had to size up for this. Now, Daniel's great about sizing. Um, he said, you've got to do this and size up, and that's exactly what I did. By the way, before I even zip this up, you can see that the interior pocket and the lining itself really serve to add some extremely nice details. But as we zip this up, first of all, the zip goes really nice and easily. As we zip this up, you'll see that the medium, it fits, but it fits almost like a small. So make sure you size up. If you took something of his in a medium, size up to a large. If you took a large, size up to an extra large. Do not get the same size as you did in the P coat, the Haiti coat, and uh, even the Harrington. So, let's talk about the fit. Nice fit on the arms. I love it. Not too long. Doesn't bunch up. It's got nice arm holes as far as the size. And you can see that it is fitted. And it should be because the wool will give over time. The more you connect with this and play in it and live in it, it will give. The zipper, you can see, kind of goes right up there and goes right up to the top, just like the Tom Ford one. Makes a nice snug pull on the neck, but you know, for comfort's sake, I'm going to do it like this. Um, you can see the front fits very good, nice little action pose, and of course the back. So the back doesn't bind, it fits well. This is fitted, like I said, um, but very comfortable. I wore it out today. It is cold, so it was real feel of six degrees today. My wife even said to me, you're going out on that? Don't you need a sweater or something like that? But I wanted to test it out, and it was extremely comfortable. So this is just filled with polyester, but so is this. Um, and now let's talk about, let's get back to the whole idea of frugal bond. My friend over here, which I'm, I'm very happy with, I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is, um, $2,200. This piece... $200. So that's the real play here. Do I love the Tom Ford piece? Well, of course I do. But quite frankly, for $200, this is the one that I'm going to grab and wear out there and make snow angels with. As a matter of fact, why don't we show you some of the things that you wouldn't do in a Tom Ford sold in jacket that you would do in a Royale sold in jacket. Let's take a look. So you can see, uh, this gives you a lot of latitude. If you get this caught on a snag or something like that, you're not going to cry a river. This one, you almost want to put into glass. So um, I'm happy, really, really happy with his interpretation of this. And you know, his interpretation really comes from his heart. Because Daniel, who is behind all these royal frugal pieces, he's a Bond fan first. He makes these for himself. Um, makes a limited amount for other people like you. And by the way... Um, his version of these, the limited amount that he made, sold out within 48 hours. Um, if you want one, get a hold of him. We'll put his email right underneath here so you can see them get in contact with him. But um, he does this for himself. In fact, this took no less than four to five prototypes to make this right. Being meticulous, looking at improvements and what he can make. The first two wools weren't correct. He really wanted to make it absolutely perfect. That's where his heart is. And that's where he puts all of his love into. The reality is, is it gives us all an opportunity to capture that Bond moment during Spectre, which we really all love, that whole Austria scene. No matter what your price point is, if you're a college student, you know, if you're a civil servant, um, you know, the Tom Ford pieces are great, but they're not for everyone. And that's absolutely okay, because collecting Bond, the Bond lifestyle, 
is for everyone. It shouldn't be limited to pocketbooks. So something for $200, and even $200 is expensive to somebody for a jacket. But saving your shekels and saving your pennies can help you get there a lot closer. My review, no big surprise. I saw the making of this. I knew it was going to be great, but I give it two thumbs up. Not only for value, but quite frankly, for the passion and love that one fan puts into this, I've got to support it. By the way, one other thing, when these pockets are open, I feel like there's kind of a gap. I like to keep them closed, and you can see when you close them, they kind of go back up into their little pocket, so it gives you a little bit more of a slimline view, but the hand warmer pockets do keep your hands warm. I wore no gloves today, and it still kept me warm. Anyway, this has been the first of many frugal bonds that we're going to have over the next few weeks. I was really excited to start with this one. There's more coming because the bond lifestyle and the bond experience is for everyone. We'll see you very soon. Take care.